If I feel something hard, I'm going to assume it's a cell phone. Are you happy, Derek? I'll answer that. Usually. Okay, I'm ready to go. I don't know you guys. Five. Five, four, three, two, one, and action. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay, guys, I have to explain something before we get into this. This is a, a chapter from Rubberhead Volume 2, and it documents my experience with the fabulous, the one, the only John Carpenter on uh, Big Trouble in Little China. I think a few of you have seen that movie. Yay! But there's a lot of backstory. We don't have time to read the whole chapter. Uh, you can pick it up if you search Rubberhead Volume 2. That's right, on Kickstarter right now and pledge. You can pick up the whole book and you can read the whole chapter. But I'm going I'm to start in the middle and there's, I have to give you a little bit of a backstory. There was a, a gentleman named Rob Cantrell, my best friend at the time. We were all doing loads of cocaine. And uh, there was an experience that we had on, uh, on, uh, on Fright Night where he did a little bit too much cocaine and he did not show up to work the next day. And so that put me in a very precarious position. And so I fired him. And that night, he went home and blew his health. So this starts with that. I'm, I'm going to uh, just start somewhere. Do you guys know Screaming Mad George? Yeah. Okay, this, this is me and Screaming Mad George driving to my first meeting with John Carpenter uh, right after Rob blew his head off. I don't even know where to start. I'll just start. How about that? Yeah. Uh, I've been sleeping for the entire ride. I, I rolled down a window and light a smoke. The breeze carries a, a trace of salt water. Best to John Carpenter film from all time. Shapeshifter from outer space. As we exit the freeway and turn east on Pico, the rain and the cool air silences the warriors trapped deep inside the bone prison of my skull. They lay down their weapons and retreat, at least for now. Wait, Matt George is, 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 is at least attempting to communicate. I toss my half-smoked cigarette through the window. What? Shapeshifter from outer space? He mumbled something in Japanese before hazarding a clarification. Very scary kind of disgusting transformation stuffs. Suddenly his troubled expression flicks like a light switch and a scoreboard smile. The thing! He giggles like a maniac schoolgirl. You guys aren't working with me here. You don't know Mad George? <laughs> Sheep's just, they had different names in Japan. Sheep's just, it's the thing. Okay. He mumbles something in Japanese before hazarding a clarification. Very scary kind of disgusting transformation stuff. Suddenly his troubled expression flicks like a light switch to a scoreboard smile. The thing! He giggles like a maniac schoolgirl before continuing. Big trouble is very fantastic kind of opportunity stuff. John Carpenter kind of stuff. <laughs> his eyes go dreamy as he rattles off the absurd names of Carpenter's films. October Killer Man. Prison escape from future. <laughs> Ghost in mist. Dream car. That's right. This is a very fantastic kind of opportunity stuff. I mean, sure, we, we, you know, we've been on a roll at the Boss Film Preacher Shop for quite a while now, but this, this is a John Carpenter film. The genius, triple threat auteur who, who not only writes and, and directs his films, but also scores them with his patented meandering and creepy synth pop arrangements. My opportunity, finally, to truly show the world my genius. Our work on this film will be the, the culmination of everything I've ever learned. I, it stepped up about, oh, I, 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 I don't know, a thousand notches. By the time we're done, Slimer will be begging to suck the flying eye's dick. <laughs> <laughs> John freaking Carpenter, the very man who loves effects so much that he single-handedly altered the history of makeup effects by setting the bar for creature work so impossibly high on the thing that no one will ever be able to vault over the absurd standards he and Botine created together on that film. Yet. 